Hello, happy Halloween. Spookies is all around. Uh, today is October 31st, Tuesday. I think it's day nine for us. We are going to Epcot. As you could tell by our shirts, drink around the world. We are, well, Chris is gonna probably do more of the drinking than me. However, we're gonna eat around the world too. So Chris and I are in matchy shirts and he's getting his Remy all situated. situated. But he's got the black one and then on the back, you can kind of see, we got these shirts from the Lost Bros and it just gives them all the different pavilions and basically how to say cheers. So we have a lightning lane for Remy's when we first get in and then I paid for a lightning lane for Guardians later. Then we have a dinner reservation at the new Japanese restaurant that is the Kaya style. For that. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so we love Japanese food. Yeah, um, you. So we'll see how it is, but you ready to go? Oh yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's... Remy's ready too. Yeah. Oops, sorry. And it's about a quarter to ten. So we took our time this morning. Yeah. All right. You ready to go? Yes. Okay. Well. Top of the morning. <laughs> Hold on to your coffee. We're gonna go to uh, the French Pavilion soon, so we can get a croissant. <laughs> Maybe some crepes. But really, I want that. Oh my goodness. croissant. I'll take you to the bakery. A, a croissant. A what? A croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is making me embarrass myself. It is Halloween, and probably everybody's in magic. There is a Halloween party tonight, so for those who are not staying for the party, I would assume we'll be over here tonight. So I'm interested to see, <laughs> interested to see how busy the park gets later. Chef Remy is waiting for you. This way. Oh, here they are. Des invités pour le dîner. Yes, we want to be here. Huh? Pour le repas idéal. Encore vin? No. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? Oui, oui, that's it.
Wonderful ride. So this go around, what we didn't get last time you rode this ride was the smell of the, the French bread. It smelled like I was in inside of a baguette. It was really cool. And then the water from the mop and the champagne. I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. When the scene where the little mouse are running on the French tops, that could never happen. Their little feet would be burnt to crisp. <laughs> But other than that, I love that ride. That's a good ride. And way better with the smells and the water. Now I need a piece of bread. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna go get a croissant. Yeah, let's so. go to the bakery. Yeah. Ready? Patisserie. Yeah. Oh, and the first Christmas decoration. <laughs> is that it? We have a lot of food yet. Yeah, what else do you want? That's really, that's all I really want. Just, just one, yeah. Oh, I want that. There's a thousand things. Macaroon. Okay, can we have one of those pieces? Yeah, I heard those were really good. And that's it? That's it. Our first stop. <laughs> You want to take the first bite mm -hmm. of the ham and cheese croissant? Croissant. Now this isn't food and wine, but wanted to take him to the bakery. <laughs> nice. Nice. I think it has like, so there's like cheese on top, like Gruyere or something like that. But in the middle, I think there's like bechamel. Mm. Uh, like creamy, like peppery. I'm not sure, but that's what it tastes like. Cause it's like, it's not. It's like sauce. I think that's what it is. I think it's like a bechamel. Oh yeah. It's delicious. Stop number one. On the drinking around the world. I went with a French beer because they had like champagne and. Some other sparkling wines and some regular wine and just those were all like 15 bucks. This was nine dollars, so gotta be somewhat uh, economical. Yeah. Oh wow, that it almost kind of tastes like apple juice. Mm. I'll try it. It's like a fancier PBR. That is delicious. Wow, that's a really good beer. That's the best beer I've had, besides the one in the Japan uh, pavilion. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's, that's good. All right, so what what we get here? Beautiful macaron. Macaron? Macaron. Macaron. Yeah. And seems to have strawberries and like. Uh, I can actually open it up. Raspberry and some sort of cream. Looks very delicious. I'm normally not a macaroon person, but this looks really good. Mm. Is it good? Mm. That's delightful. Ooh, I gotta try it now. It's, um, you'll really like it. It's yeah. not very sweet. I think it's like lemon custard. Oh, okay. There's a jam in the middle. And the raspberry is really, really nice. Heck yeah. Yeah. I think this was what, five bucks? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet. That raspberry jelly in the middle. Mm -hmm. So based off of what we got, would you come back? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's pretty good value. You could definitely get way more things like... Kind of like fresh bread and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly got a baguette once. <laughs> she literally just ate the baguette. 
there's no shame in that. No, it looks so good. If we didn't have food and wine, yeah, I'd probably get a beer and a baguette too. Yep. And just walk around the park eating baguette. But all right, this so far is the best sweet thing we've ever gotten on. Oh, on Disney. yeah. Of all the things that we tried, this is the best. You're one. ranking that number one. This is number one. Very interesting. And I don't like macaroons. So, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm not a fan. I know you're not a sweet guy, but. Alright, so we got the Brazilian cheese bread, so it's gluten free, and they smell hmm. amazing. They smell good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one apart. Oh, they're warm. Yeah, they're nice and warm. And so maybe we'll get a cheese pull. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That is delightful. The texture on it is more cheesy than like bread, but that's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Nice and salty too. This might be some of the best Brazilian cheese bread I've ever had. And I've had authentic Brazilian cheese bread. Like, and then I went with a Brazilian lager because I'm drinking around the world, so cheers to y'all. Let's see how well it pairs. Ooh. That's nice. It's very malty. But this is delicious. And Samantha just went over to the Belgian Pavilion to, I think, get... Um, a short rib dish? I'm not sure. So we'll see when she comes back what she got. But all the uh, all the pavilions now are open because it's 11 o'clock. So now you guys are going to see in the video us eating a lot more and me drinking a lot more and progressively acting more and more goofy. So let's see what happens next. Stopped at Belgium and I got the chilled iced coffee with chocolate liqueur. And it doesn't look the best, but it is a beer braised beef with Gouda mashed potatoes. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mmm. You good? Mm-hmm. The beef is not as tender as I want it to be, but those potatoes are dope. Yeah. Yeah, would you agree? The flavors on this is amazing. That like sauce with the potatoes. It's amazing. But I agree. Yeah. The short rib isn't it's not tough by all, by any means. But it's not as tender as I'd want it to be. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I like it. Yeah, it's very tasty. And my coffee. Oh you got coffee? Mm -hmm. It's um spiked coffee. Oh, oh, well. I have to I have to get something from there too. I have to get something from Belgium. <laughs> Ooh, that's tasty. What other alcoholic drinks do they have over there? Oh, they had like several beers. They had a beer flight. Or you can wait till we go to Greece. <clears throat> I mean, I'm here now. All right, we'll go get it. Can I have another bite? <laughs> so just keeping track, the beef was $6 and the iced coffee was 12 which came to $18. And I don't know what Chris is about to get. Um, but yeah, so far I think we're... 30 or 40 dollars in drink number three baby <laughs> belgium about to be down just got done with france just got done with uh brazil and now we're going with belgium and i love belgian beer belgian beer is amazing so i went with the triple um what does that mean oh it's called a triple yeah, it's called a triple oh, okay uh what exactly that means i don't know but 
Uh, triples tend to be a little bit uh, stronger, higher in AB ABV. Mm. Cheers, let's see what this tastes like. Huh, <laughs> it's like fruity. Wanna try it? Maybe. It still has that like, you know, a little kick to it. All right, I think we have grease next. Ooh, yes, the, yeah. the griddle cheese. Yeah. And then let's do some rides or something to, to give me time. Uh, we to... are not anywhere near rides. Rides are in the front of the park. Well, the pavilions have rides and stuff, right? I mean, Norway has Frozen and Mexico has the three caballeros. Okay. Well, whatever, <clears throat> it's fine. We can do some shopping too if we want to. Okay. I just, I need to give my stomach a little bit of a break. I don't want to get too full because then I'll just be lazy. I can explore the Italian pavilion too. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your beer, honey. What'd you get? So I got the griddled cheese. So it's literally just cheese that's been put on a flat top and they fold over. Nice. Drizzle it with honey and pistachios. And then to, you know, drink it around the world, <laughs> I got their uh, rosé. Oh, nice. I'm going like, to have a sip of that. I feel like that'd be a good pairing with this. Yeah. Uh, it was $11 total. Nice. I've had the griddled cheese before and it is. I'm super excited about this. Really good. Go ahead, is, dig this, in. is this like a fork thing or can I eat it? Oh yeah, you definitely need a fork. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, now you got your fork. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. It's not really chewy or anything. Yeah. Nope. I think the Brazilian cheese bread was was chewier than this. Yeah. I wish it was the cheese a little bit funkier, but that's personal preference, so I'm not. It doesn't take away points from it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's very tasty. Yeah. You wanna have a sip of your rosé with it? Oh I'll, yeah. I'll hold it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> well, that, that's four drinks down now, right? Yeah. All right, wanna try it? Yes. And the rosé pairs very nice with it. That was an intentional pairing. Good, right? That's my favorite pairing so far. It's very nice. Wine and cheese, you can't go wrong with that. No. I mean, name a better pairing. All right, I'm gonna have one more bite and then you can have the rest. Okay. So we're in a slight food coma. <laughs> We're gonna take the boat over to the, uh, right before the World Showcase. I, I don't know why I'm spacing on what that's called. And then we're gonna do a few rides, and then we'll get back in it. We have a pass for test track anyway soon, yeah. so actually this is perfect. Take a break and then. Yeah, I, I gotta walk off some of this food. Yeah. The weather is beautiful. It is, it is a little hot, it's sunny, there's not many clouds in the sky, however, there's a slight breeze. And yeah. Chris and I are prepared, we both have our neck fans today, so. Not worried about it. No. And as you can see, Remy asked to ride in the backpack, <laughs> so he's, he's hanging out. <laughs> How so. cute. He didn't want to be on my shoulder anymore, so I said it's okay. So, <laughs> so yeah. Get some rides done. I think we're yep. gonna go see Figment. Yeah, <laughs> and I really hope, I, I really don't think they have it, but I know that they, they, they have brought Figment back as a character, so I'm hoping to find a Figment shoulder buddy, but I don't think it exists yet. Now, you can buy them online on eBay, Yeah. but some of them are going for like 60 bucks, you know? So I'm on the hunt for that, so we'll see. If not, I'm okay.
Welcome to our special drive-thru open house. I'm Dr. Michael Cherry, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. One little spark of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. Right at the start of everything. Oh, now you're gonna stop doing your annoying little song? <laughs> this is what happens behind the scenes all the time. Yeah. It's my Peter Griffin. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go see Nemo and some aquatic animals, and then we'll be ready for test track. Chris did not find his figment. It's okay. All right, one of these days we will. Okay. 
if Neil Armstrong was the first man on the moon, who was the cameraman? And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. That's not us. That's not us. She's ugly. In your future, getting away on vacation with the breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you need. Welcome, Agent X. Stand by while I check for your assignment. Red alert. Enemy Agent Havoc is at it again, creating chaos in the city. Your mission, get to Havoc's hideout and disable the Havoc beam. No problem. But be warned, Havoc will try to stop you. Oh my. Behind your creation, the Mr. Jerry. Oh, very nice. Maybe classic, know. original. <laughs> Just fried pickle spears. They smell so good. I like a nice fried pickle, what can I say? Mm. That's all it is, it's just. What's a fried pickle spear? But the coating, Battered and deep fried. The coating and the like ranch drizzle has dill in it, like fresh dill. I really like this. That tastes exactly how I thought it would. Yep. Fried pickle. Now I'm not a big like, fried pickle person, but this is nice. I'm usually used to them in like uh, chips, you know. I think I almost prefer them this way, like as spears. 
and the pickle fries were five dollars and fifty cents and you got four of them so actually i think it was a pretty good deal i think chris wants to go to club cool and try the sodas again because he likes torturing himself and then we'll see which food booth we end up next That's cool. That's all chocolate. Oh, it's like a haunted house or a haunted tree. Uh, that's just a tree. I don't think it's haunted. It's got mushrooms. Eat them and then you can uh, see and taste colors. Oh god. It's a <laughs> croissant donut. I'm excited. It smells so good. It smells like cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's just a really light, fluffy cinnamon donut. I think you would like this. I think they just like do like a normal yeast donut, but mm -hmm. they fold the the dough. Oh, you're fine. They fold the dough, the dough, and then they fry it. I'm guessing. I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, it was one of like Epcot's like sought out treats, so I wanted to try it, but. There's definitely layers in there. Oh yeah. But, here, I'm all messy. <laughs> So I like the royal watermelon and the Sprite. The uh, Philippines watermelon soda and the Russian Sprite together. It's, it, like, I want to take this home with me. <laughs> nice little treat. Mm. It needs vodka. Right. Well, let's go get you some alcohol somewhere. Yes, I still have to drink around the world. <laughs> All right, Chris, what did you get? I'm so excited. So we got, they just call it Spam Sushi, because probably, I don't know why they call it Spam Sushi. It's it's essentially is a Spam version of sushi, but it's uh, called Musubi, and it's a Hawaiian treat. Um, they did this with door paper all around. So they basically, they roll it in one big log, and then they cut it into pieces, <laughs> and they drizzle it with this sauce. So I'm very excited. Samantha knows me. I love this stuff. I might try it. Yeah, I think you should. Save that end piece for me, because okay. I'll try that one. That one's and nice and thin. They also give you a little wakame salad. Um, don't know why. It's typically, that's not like a traditional thing, but I'm going to eat it. And then, I haven't had an alcoholic beverage in a while, so I got the larger version of the IPA, Kona. Oh. You look disappointed. The flavors are very delicious, but the rice is very dry. Really? It's like almost as if it's like, it has the texture of day old rice. Oh no, I don't know if I want to try it now. Take a bite, it's spicy. Okay. So, we went ahead and ate some more of it. Pretty good. Thinking that maybe it was just that one piece. Every piece was like stale rice, right? Which, takes away from this whole experience because you want the rice to be nice and soft. It should be cold, but it shouldn't be like old rice. Mm -hmm. Flavors are really good. The Spam's really nice. If anything, I feel like the sauces they put on it kind of overpower that Spam flavor. It's it a lot of heat. And it is very spicy, but I like, I like to taste the Spam. You don't really taste the Spam in this, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, stale rice, not good. Now, I don't know if this was just like maybe just today. We just got unlucky. But a little disappointed. I was really looking forward to that and it kind of killed it for me. But This is the worst of the festival for me. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. This you is, know what? This is not good. I don't like this at all. Me too because of the, the lack of attention to the rice. Yep. I'm going to say a zero out of ten. <laughs> I won't be that mean, but... Don't like it? I give it a, a, a 1 out of 10. <laughs> Bring me back to Swiss so I can get more of my sticky cheese. <laughs> but, the beer's good. I don't want to try it. Do you think I'll like it? 
I don't think so, but let's try it. It's an IPA. Also, Whoa. I'm doing a little bit more drinking, so I realized that I got a, a beer or a drink at the Morocco Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Oh no, just just in Morocco. No, that was uh, Morocco. You got the uh, wine. Uh, the grease booth. You got the wine. Nice. Anyways, I double drank in one country, so I'm actually. Just, I guess I'm partying in every country now. There you go. All right, but we'll I would, catch you later. I'd like to go to Mexico. I'm doing Mexico. a shot of tequila. Oh, Lord. This one is also very nice. These two Lagrimas Tesoro is... These two are Tawana tequilas, that means they're more handcrafted. There's yeah. not a lot of uh, machinery involving the right. process or not mass produced. So they're a small batch tequila, so they have a little bit more quality and flavor to it. Okay. So uh, they preserve, even though these are reposados, so they are rested almost like one to one year. Oh, wow. So they still have the flavor of the agave. That, in my opinion, that's what you're looking for. Like, right. If you're going to try a reposado tequila, it's like a little bit of oakiness, but still with the flavor of the agave. So like any of these two, they're they're very nice. My preference is always the sort of, that's my personal favorite. I'm going to go with you then. I'll go with your preference. It's going to be 20. Two, That's fine. That's okay. I'm about to do a shot. No. <laughs> this, is, this is my speed. Thank you, my friend. No problem. Salt, lime, tequila, then a tomato chaser. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. That is like, whoa. <laughs> that was probably the best shot of tequila I've ever done. So sangrita is like a chaser. Yeah. Like in Mexico City, it's popular. Yeah, it's not just tomato juice. It's like seasoned. No, yeah, exactly. It has a, it's like a recipe. Okay. Like a salsa kind of thing. It yeah. has jalapenos, uh, beans, That's what reminds tomatoes, me of. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Like orange juice, lime juice. That's how I want to do my shots of tequila like, from now on. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so the name is sangrita. Not all the places have it, but it's, it's, getting, it's getting popular here. I like that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Have an avocado margarita? Can I have one? Of course, yes. No, they're not. That was delicious. Well, I didn't know. Ooh. You didn't ask anything. Let me try. Oh, no, because I didn't know that it would have to That's surprisingly really good. That's very smooth. Mexico always has the best drinks. Yeah, that was, that was mm -hmm. great. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Chris, I really like that black and white one. Which one? I like the, the white and black, and then I also like the black and white. How much is that? $11.95. Ooh, that might be coming home with me. They're both $11.95. Which one do you like better? I kind of, to tell you the truth, I like the black and white one. Yeah, I think that one stands out. All right, you're coming home with me.
You will see the back. Hey, hey, hey! Wrong duck! Goodbye! <laughs> Country, I don't know what number anymore. Oh my god. Uh, I'm good though. I'm not even. I don't even have a buzz. Like, what you got? I got a white ale. Now, unfortunately, unlike some of the other booths, you have a choice between a five ounce or a, I believe, a twelve ounce. This was just this for a fixed price. It was twelve seventy five. Gotcha. So I'm drinking around the world. I had to get it. So here I am. It looks good. Oh wow. Yummy. That is crisp. <laughs> Try it. Actually, that's that's not too bad. Oh my god. I've been I've been trying to get her to That's to not like too bad, beers. yeah. This is good. Yeah. So I guess white ales might might be your thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not as yeah. heavy as like an IPA or no, something. No, no, it's, it's not hoppy at all. Yeah. It's very light and crisp. Nice. So my next mission is I need to find a pavilion. I saw some elsewhere where cast members were passing out pins. Like uh, you know, happily ever after, or happy birthday, and a lot of times they have sharpies to like write dates on them. So I'm gonna try to find one of them and have a cast member like give us a sharpie real quick so we can cross off the countries on the shirt because I don't remember. Well, we did Greece, we did France. Well, Greece is not a country; it's a food and wine booth. Well, Greece technically is a country, but I know what you mean. It's not one of the countries on. Mm -hmm. on, my, on my shirt. So I did France, I did Morocco, I've done Norway, I've done Mexico. Mexico. And that's it, right? Let's try it. Yeah. I have a lot more drinking to do. <laughs> so let's uh, let's do it. So join us in another episode of Trash Can Dining because the trash cans are table. Also, so we just went to China and we got the uh, we the power stands. We got the Dan Dan noodles and then we got the uh, was it pork? Yeah. The pork bao bun. And then I also got a lychee beer, but I haven't finished my Norway one. But <coughs> oh, that's interesting. I got the fiery dream. Down the hatch. So, did this? your straw big enough? Got, I, I, I wanted a pink straw. It's like a boba straw. I think I took the wrong straw, but it's okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try the Dan Dan noodles first. Now I have chopsticks because I'm a pro. So I got a drink. It's called the fiery dream, and it's spicy. Now Dan Dan noodles are cold, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I always thought they were cold. It's a little, it's a little bland. The so peanut sauce is nice. So it's it's chicken, ground chicken with the peanut sauce, scallions, and basically like, <coughs> an in between, but the noodles are like, the shape is in between like a spaghetti and a fettuccine. I like it. It's okay. It's a little bland, but Very it's not bad. Peanut buttery. Would I get it again? Nah. No. It tastes like. Fruit syrup. Let me get some more for you. Scarf it all down. Each food item was eight dollars and twenty-five cents. The total for a cocktail, his beer, the bao bun, and the noodles, I think, came to like thirty-five. Not too bad. No. Have a napkin. Is it good? It's like poison sauce, right? I'm not a big fan of pork belly, so. 
they really, I mean, the, the hoisin sauce is just dripping off of this thing. I mean, it's all right. There's really not a lot of things going on there. It's just pork belly, bao bun, hoisin sauce. I mean, if you're new to bao buns, I guess this is a great safe option. But typically we're used to when we have it and when I've made them at home, I'm used to there being there like either fresh sliced cucumbers or like quick pickled cucumbers and like other pickled veg and like cilantro on top. This is just pork belly hoisin sauce in a bao bun, so. Yeah. It's, Sorry. I, I wouldn't get it again. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really impressed. There are better things here. Like that sushi in Japan. Oh my God, that's so good. I can't wait for that. So I'll give the noodles, should we stick to one out of 10? I'd give the noodles a, like four out of 10. I'd give it a six. Okay. And then I'd give the bao bun probably the same. Four. Yeah, because it just wasn't, I wasn't really impressed. I was expecting a little bit more. I'll again, eat it if, yeah. if it's in front of me, but I'm not gonna go buy it again. Yeah. I wanted cucumbers on that or yeah. something. Something pickled. Well, because that's also how I've made it in the past, so. Yeah, Chris spoils us with. Yeah, for all of you guys who are joining us for the first time, I, I have been a chef for the past 10 plus years, and I go into these things open mindedly, right? If I were to really give critique this as like my chef brain, everything would have a zero or a one. So, <laughs> but that's besides the point. But yeah, so I've, I've made everything we've had, I've made. Every food item that we've eaten, I've made for myself or for Samantha, for both of us, or her family. For the most part. You and haven't made I... me soup yet. I've made soup for you. Not broccoli cheddar soup, or bro uh, cheddar bacon soup. <laughs> this is true, but anyways. But, with all that being said, I come into this knowing that I'm not gonna be very judgmental. But that was a little uh, underwhelming. Skip China. So let me try the beer, so it's a, so it is a Brew Hub Lychee Foo Draft Beer from Lakeland, Florida. And Excuse I me. had, which I just finished, the Fiery Dream, which is citrus vodka, triple sec, guava nectar, yeah. and spicy hot honey syrup, and that was good. Yep, and then, so the Dan Dan noodles was spicy pork with, oh, so it wasn't chicken, it was pork. See? That's we need, what I thought, we, yeah. We gotta read this for, for oh, our fans. It's in my pocket. So the Dan Dan noodles was a spicy pork with Szechuan peanut, excuse me, a, a Szechuan sauce and a peanut butter and sesame sauce as well. And then the bao bun was, Crispy duck bao bun with poison sauce? That looked like a piece of pork belly. Oh, you called it pork? I did. No, I knew it was duck. Really? Yeah, it's it's duck. Oh, then yeah. I, I dropped my rating down to a two out of 10. <laughs> that tasted like pork belly. It even looked like pork belly. No, wow. Duck. Anyways, let me try the beer and then we'll go to our next spot. But well, we're gonna go inside the china shop. That is interesting. I don't think you're gonna like this. It's like I, I don't want to try it. It's like a bitter white grape beer. Nope. If it's bitter, it ain't for me. I'm not gonna try it. I, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it either. But I'm gonna drink it. All right. Where are we going next? We're gonna go shopping in the China Pavilion because Chris has never been, and I haven't been in there in years. I feel like purchases are gonna be made. So we'll see you in there. Come closer. Very handsome. Very nice. You are one with the culture. I could work out in the sun all day long with this. Yes, you on. could. All right, bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what? Give him a mile, and he or give him a minute. He takes a mile. Do you need to stop drinking? No. <laughs> okay. Look at his turtle on his head. Oh, he's cute. It's part of the turtle club. It's too turtly for the turtle club. Um, look at the little baby turtles. 
Very cute. Let's go see what else is in here. trying very hard. I was trying very hard, but I wasn't successful. <laughs> Alcohol's kicking in. Oh, God. I think we should get a uh, crazy chip flavor and do a review. Squid? Octopus? Squid? It's, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know, know what it is. I don't know about that one. Sesame sauce hot pot flavor? So far, I'm interested in that one. That one? Okay. Got roasted garlic oyster. Ooh, that actually sounds really good. We might be getting two then. Uh oh. That one's a beer. Let's just get one because because we're not gonna finish both of them and and. Well, I don't want to do the oyster. I want to do the. I feel like the sesame will be good. Okay, what's that bottom one? Um. It looks like shrimp, like beer shrimp. I have no idea. Just say on the back. Um, only if you speak Chinese or mm. read Chinese, and I do not. Nope, but I see beer and shrimp, so it might be... Prawn, pepper prawn, pepper prawn seasoning. That sounds... So it's a prawn chip. Kind of tasty. Yeah, but we get prawn chips all the time, like... This, this is true. That you looks... That new? one looks spicy. This one is spiced braised beef. Ooh, I say we get that. And then... Don't know what that one That is. looks like some type of, like, hot pot. Like... Dumpling. Oh, um. My vote is either that green one or the spice braised beef. Vine pepper bowl chicken. Ooh. This, one this is, is up to you. You get whatever you want. Ooh, spicy crawfish. That's gonna be like prawns, though. Yeah. I say we get the beef one. <clears throat> In my opinion, the China Pavilion has a better selection of chopsticks. I went to the Japan Pavilion and got some chopsticks. And I came here and found some really nice ceramic ones that match my ramen bowls. But I'm not I'm not gonna buy them. I bought a nice pair at Japan Pavilion. So but if you're looking for chopsticks, I would probably say come here because they have a bit of a cooler selection. Plus you can get a personalized um, chopstick. I'll show you that here in a second. Let me just show you. So yeah, so you can get get it in here personalized chopsticks with your name on it if you're into that I'm not but awesome did you want to look anymore no, okay. is that it okay very cool stuff so we're gonna go try these chips let's go ahead and do this Ready up. they smell good so we got spiced braised beef flavor. Whoa. That tastes exactly like beef. Like braised beef. Yeah, I like that actually. With like um like a five spice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Whoa, these are good. These are really good. He really likes them. <laughs> I do, what can I say? I said after crunching on these potato chips, Chris and I really enjoy them. They're so good. Mm -hmm. they're, they're amazing. So they taste exactly like as if you had like slow braised mm -hmm. beef, like short ribs. That beef flavor is so prominent. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Very beef flavor forward, and then it has the light hint of like five spice. Yeah. They're really good. I'd get these again. These are like, I would say the best potato chips I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. really this good. is insane that I'm going to Epcot <laughs> and having these amazing food experiences. As a chef, listen, I've worked in some really fancy restaurants. I've worked in some really well-known restaurants with some very famous chefs. I've cooked a lot of good food. And if you would have told me before I came here that I'd have some life-changing, 
food experiences at Epcot at Disney, mm -hmm. I would laugh. But so far, some of the things that I've been having have been like just absolutely amazing. Some of the things ha haven't been great either, but I think that comes with eating so much food as mm -hmm. you and I know, not everything's gonna be amazing, it's mm -hmm. hit or miss. And these are, get these, get these, like 10 out of 10. And that's what I really liked about Epcot too, and that's why I really wanted to give him another go. The last time we were here, it wasn't last year, it was last year. He didn't feel too well, so we weren't really able to like walk around the the country. Yeah, he didn't feel good. So like I wasn't able to like show him everything. So now like our second Epcot day, even more so now he's eating more and he's drinking more and he's taking it's in the countries. It's it's so it's such a cool experience. I will admit though, <clears throat> I know me. If they didn't have the food and wine festival going on, I don't think I would be enjoying mm -hmm. Epcot as much. Yeah. So if if you're not really big into, actually, let me rephrase that. If you're not big into going to a park that doesn't have a lot of rides, it's not ride forward. Mm -hmm. Then I would say maybe not come to Epcot, but check them out when they have festivals going on, mm -hmm. because this is amazing. Yeah. It's really good. It's been a great day. Oh my God, the weather's been gorgeous. And it's not, it's just after 3.30 and we've been in the park since like, what, not almost 10? <laughs> Quarter to 10, so. There's more drinking to be done. Yeah, absolutely. Which I think we need to get back to. All right. All right, Chris, you gotta stand in that center and you gotta talk to yourself. Why? Do you hear it? Why do I have to? Now you just sound normal to me, but the uh Yeah, I'm like amplified. Uh-huh. Alright. Oh my god. Wow, that's really cool. Here you do it. I mean the mirror records you do. Hello. It's weird, right? Sounds normal here. That is insane. Wow. So the battery died, but y'all missed the German pavilion. But I grabbed the beer over there. Unfortunately, we didn't record it. But you can trust me. I had one. I got the, a six ounce. I forget what it was. Now we're at the Italian Pavilion, which is, I mean, right next door. You can see, I'm not lying. So I can still cross off Germany, but this is a Peroni Pilsner. I oh, got the Peroni. Six Peroni. I've heard of that before. Yeah, so have I. I think it's going to be kind of like a Amstel Light. Interesting. So it's like a... It's like PBR's older brother. Want to try it? See, this is proof we went to Germany because I have a shop of hot market. I can see the older brother PBR. Right? Thing. Yeah. It's more sophisticated. It's hoppier than a PBR. But but not. But it's light. But not super hoppy. So, what I'm gonna do now is just. Move on to the next, because we're 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 um, burning daylight here. So. Less than an hour for Guardians. The American Pavilion. We just got back from the Italian Pavilion, and so we had a couple different options. 
and I almost decided to go with beer, but I thought that'd be a little too basic. So, uh, we forgot to bring a Sharpie to cross off the uh, countries on my shirt. So we stopped off at a booth um, that was like selling pins and stuff and we talked to the cast member. She had a Sharpie and as Samantha was crossing off a couple of the countries that we forgot, she mentioned um, this moonshine drink. And I decided to go with it because it wasn't as basic as a beer. So it's 16 bucks. That's how big of a drink it is. And it is Old Smoky Blackberry Moonshine with blood orange, blackberry, and lemon. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, it does sound very good. So I figured I'd, you know, do something different, get some, get a cocktail instead of beer. So. Oh, yeah, this is your first cocktail. Whoa. That does not play with a sourness. I cannot taste any alcohol in that. That just tastes like <laughs> like sweet blackberry lemonade. But it's tasty. It is very tasty. 16 bucks though. It's kind of expensive. It's the moonshine. That's why I like getting beer. Beer is like it's cheaper. And I think this is the only place in Epcot, maybe even the whole parks, that you can get moonshine. You can also get moonshine at Homecoming well, at Disney Springs. I, I don't really think it's like real moonshine either. Yeah. I've had real moonshine. I've been in. I've been living in North Carolina for ten plus years now, and I've had my fair share of moonshine, real moonshine, like made by some real country folk up in the mountains. Moonshine's like corn whiskey made in the mountains by some guy that's got a beard you know and one leg down to here and, and one leg and they play banjo all day long I mean not really but I've had real moonshine I've, I've, I've had moonshine that's been made by people up in the mountains in the Appalachians Blue Ridge Parkway uh, areas and it is it's smooth but it is strong Anyways, um, what's the next pavilion you were going to? Uh, I think Morocco's next, but... We already went no, to Morocco. No, Japan. Japan's next. Well, they have a beer there that I like. It's the Momo, which is a peach beer. What other countries do I have? Canada and UK, and I think you're done. No, France. There's no way. I already we did France. I got... Well, I got... stand up. Let me see. Or just turn around. Japan... France, UK, Canada, but you said, oh yeah, you already did France this morning. Yeah. All right, I forgot to cross that, I went out. France? Yeah, okay. so technically you only have three. Japan, UK, Canada. Look at that, John, and I'm oh still sober, baby. Oh yeah, God. don't ever doubt a Jarrett. You know what? I might do around the world 1.5. You might just do a loop halfway through and I might get some more drinks. Why don't you get a drink with dinner? And we'll skip the food booth because we're eating dinner in I Japan. I love the way my wife thinks. And you, this still counts. Wait, I really only have three countries left? Yes, honey. This was easy. Well, Well, okay. you started at 1030. That too, and also to, to be fair, I was only getting like the 5.5 ounces. You were getting the smaller drinks, yeah. Well, because and you were just getting beer, but there's still a drink. It still counts. No, 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 no. I know it still counts. Yeah. I was just, I was playing it smart. But I kind of wish I was a little bit drunker than what, oh, Lord. what I am now. I don't know. I'm not even that drunk. I'm a little tipsy. But this was easy. Now we got to frame the shirt. <clears throat> Get it bronzed. <laughs> Wild. All right. Check All right. We're going to enjoy this and we'll talk to you all later.
it's been a little while. I really don't remember. Oh, the boat ride over. Okay, so we took the friendship boat over to, uh, I don't know what this is called. They changed the name of the front of the park. But we rode Guards of the Galaxy. We got Everybody Wants to Rule the World. And we rode in the back. Row nine is the best seat because row nine turns into the front row because it goes backwards and it is way more intense very intense that that it, listen don't do the front row nine pro tip i prefer the front chris likes the back because it's more intense it's awesome <laughs> um and now we are it's just past six o'clock Chris is gonna grab a drink from Canada. Yeah, I gotta in the finish UK. the drinking around the world. And then we're gonna make our way to the Izakaya restaurant in the Japan Pavilion for our reservation. And then maybe get all frozen after dinner. Yeah, that'd be nice. And uh, that's kind of the rest of our plans. Yeah, so. I think we're having an early night. Yeah. We're not staying for the fireworks because no. we want to beat the crowds. Yeah, and so. uh, Skyliner can get very long, so we want to prevent that. As well. All right, stop at the Canada Pavilion. That's Canada, right? Yes, it was the food and wine booth for Canada. And I got their lager because I have three more countries now too. So this is uh, one more down. Oh, okay. Tasty. <laughs> Disclaimer: I did not know he was going to do that. I'm trying to get my buzz back. I see. <laughs> Call me Buzz Lightyear. Oh my god. It says Canada on it. Canada, eh? Alright, so, do you know how they named Canada? It was one guy, they put a bunch of letters in a paper bag, and they shook it up, and he went in and reached one, one letter. It was CA, reaching again, NA, reaching again, DA. Get it? Because they say A after everything. Oh my god. The rule for Chris is I'm making him go into the pub to get the full UK experience. Um, I'm just gonna get a beer and get anything you recommend. I like it all. That'd be something different. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah you are. That looks amazing. Right? Look I made it especially for you. Thank you so much. It's going to be 11 next day. Yes. Cheers, mate. Oh, I'm trying to that's good. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that flavor. I, I like Guinness. I don't drink it often. I like, but I do like Guinness. But it's very like iron forward, right? But this cuts through it. It's like yeah. so it's cider and Guinness. It's a beautiful color. And it's interesting. I like it. You want to try it? This is amazing. <laughs> It's so different. Uh, yeah. I, we were just saying that. Yeah. It was the best thing. And then they they need to bring it back. Side. They really need to. You need to go to management and say, oh, they the culture. Oh my gosh. I don't know why they got rid of it though. Because this part, it's, I mean, that's big, big part of the culture. Yeah. Because we actually, um, I don't know if you know the UK, we came up with the secret masala. So in India, if you have to go to India, they don't have to go to India. They don't have to go to India. They don't have to go to India. They don't do it. Really? Interesting. I did not know that. There we go. We got a fun fact today. <laughs> okay, so we just left. Rose and Crown in the UK Pavilion. The UK Pavilion. This is by far the most unique yes. alcoholic beverage I have no, had I went, I went the entire day. Sammy, mm -hmm. which was our bartender's name, yes. put me there one year. Um, suggested this as y'all saw, and I keep drinking it, and it just 
it keeps getting better and better because it starts to mix mm -hmm. more. I can't get over it. And then she made us, um, she made me another drink, which there was a lot of noise going on because she saw that I liked this so much and she liked us. Yeah. That she gave us a sample of this drink. It was Guinness and something else. I, I should have asked. It was like. I recorded it, so maybe we'll catch it. Yeah. But that was delicious too. Yes. It's like a fruity, almost like cappuccino kind of, like yeah. that like I was saying. And uh, I do not like beer, and those two items were fantastic. This is my favorite drink in Epcot so yeah. far. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. I have one more drink. And then he's done. In Japan, and then I'm done. John, I told you. And look at me, I'm not sloshed. No. Do not doubt the Jarrett's. He got a little rowdy for a minute, but... Yeah, after uh, America, after that moonshine, I'm not gonna lie, when we took that boat ride, I was a little like, I'm gonna take a nap. But, no, he's been drinking. Doing, he's been doing really well. And there's some countries in between too, like Australia. Well, those are the food booths, so, right. for, for the food and wine. I can keep going. If yeah. we were gonna stay here past the fireworks, yeah. I, I'd, I'm gonna keep going. Well, actually, we're going to see Frozen in Norway, so. We'll see. I'm we'll gonna see drink how around we feel after dinner. Plus some. Yeah. All right, yeah. I gotta check in for dinner. Okay. So, so we, well, 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 yeah, home blog, food blog. We're, so we got married last Saturday. We're on a honeymoon. So this is our second week of our Disney vacation. So we've been we've been expecting this for a while. We're very excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is beautiful. This view that we have. Look at the look at Spaceship Earth. Yeah. Let, let me see if you, if you guys can see this. Definitely see it better when it gets when it starts to get darker. I'm vlogging for a little bit because Samantha's looking at the menu, but um, this is amazing so far, and we're very excited. And we're very familiar with the izakaya style of eating. It's share plates, small plates. So we're gonna order a bunch of food for sure. Um, I ordered my Sapporo, so once I finish that, I'm done with drinking around. Excuse me, drinking around the world. So we can cross off all the countries, and that was easier said. Actually, it wasn't easier said than done. It was easier done than said. And we'll let you know what we get, and we'll show you. So. So I have ordered the Tokyo Sunrise, and Chris has ordered the, what did you get, honey? Oh, he's finishing his other beer. I ordered a Sapporo, which is a Japanese style beer. It's one of my favorite beers. It's a, I believe it's a lager. What, you, what are you laughing at? You're so cute. Apparently I'm cute. He's got to go into a hole. Why not? Right? I got to know what Just it is. I want my drink. Then drink your drink. Okay. I'll keep I drink mine. <laughs> Cheers. She's just making fun of me. Is what she's doing. <laughs> oh my god. 
That's, That's delicious. Lovely. Lovely. And you got a nice little glass. And that's it. I drank around the world. This is it. This is once I finish this. This is it. I drank around the world. You did it! Congratulations. Do you feel accomplished? I feel so accomplished. <laughs> Honestly, my two favorite drinks was the tequila shot in Mexico. That was the best tequila shot I've ever taken in my life. Yeah, you really enjoyed that. The salt. I don't remember what I took. The bartender. I told him whatever you like. But it was the lime, the tequila shot, or excuse me, the salt, the tequila shot, the lime, and then that. What did he salsa call it? Salsa chaser. It was almost like a salsa chaser. Yeah, but he called it something. It wasn't sofrito. It was no. like salt. So sangrita is like a chaser. Like, when you, yeah. like in Mexico City, it's popular. Yeah, it's not just tomato juice. It's like seasoning. No, yeah, exactly. It has a, it's like a recipe. Okay. I forget. We, I think we recorded it. We did, I recorded the whole interaction. So whatever it was, we'll that do some research and figure out how to make number it. Number one. That was amazing. And then my second was the hard cider in Guinness mm -hmm. at the UK Pavilion. And then to be quite honest, my third favorite is my support. But I drank around the world. I did it. And I feel good. And, and now you get a big Japanese dinner. Oh my god, like we're gonna eat so good tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Alright guys, we'll show you when the food comes out. So we got the karage chicken. So it's a fried chicken. I believe they use chicken thighs. Oh, it's hot. Uh-oh. So, spicy roll. And then this is the eel roll. That chicken is amazing. It was yep. really hot. I don't want to suggest you put the whole big piece in your mouth. But it is fried perfectly. It's super like moist and tender. Yeah. Would you like to keep and you don't, it you, is don't hot. Need, you don't need like sauce. The, the lemon was enough. This is fantastic sushi. Yeah, so far this is really amazing. That's not the best sushi I've ever had in my life. It's up there though. Alright, so we got the, what is this called? I don't know, the grill skewer product. It is Kushi Assorted Grilled Skewers. We have shrimp, beef, and chicken. Right. And the world's tiniest. And the world's tiniest line. Line. So. I want to go for the shrimp first. I'm going to go for the beef first. Mm -hmm. wow. This is good. Pretty good. It's cooked perfectly too. It's not chewy. It's not like rare. All right, I'm gonna try a shrimp. It's cooked very nicely. You went for the chicken already? Mm -hmm. How was that? Very good. Yeah. You try that too. The shrimp's my favorite. Is it? Well, you can have that one. Wow. Chicken has a nice flavor. When you get the the meat skewers. It's cooked a certain type of way on bichaton charcoal. And for all of you that don't know, bichaton is the type of tree. And, and what the Japanese do is they take the wood from this tree and they put it in a kiln and they fire it at, you know, 1500 plus Fahrenheit degrees. And they take it out and they chill it and let it cool down. And what happens is, is they use that, light it, and they grill the meats on it because when that charcoal is lit, it's high heat, no smoke. And so you can sear proteins really fast, really quick, get that char flavor, there's no smoke. So it really enhances the experience. Now, I don't know if that's what they're doing back there, but it seems like it. But this is absolutely tasty. Shrimp was my favorite, chicken was chicken. Second, and then the beef was last. See, me, chicken's my favorite, beef was the second, and shrimp was last. But that's just because I have like a slight shrimp allergy, so. So we got the A5 Wagyu Gyoza. I think this is probably gonna be the last thing we get here because we're getting kind of full. Look at that. So it comes with a little dipping sauce. And this is A5 Wagyu. That's good. So it's ground A5. I'm a little 
It's delicious. But it has a sausage consistency. I was hoping that it'd be different. I don't know. I was expecting more of like rare or like medium rare pieces of A5. Because A5, if you don't know, is very fatty. And it's typically eaten like seared very quickly where it's still rare in the middle. I was just expecting more of a chew from the more of like a raw meat that's ground wagyu. But that doesn't take away from the flavor. It takes away a little bit from the texture, but it's still very tasty. What would you give this out of a 10? Honestly, I'd give it like a five. I wasn't a big fan of that. Cause I, I, Tell them why. I was expecting, like you were saying, like a slice of Wagyu. I don't know why, but like or a- Or like raw pieces of Wagyu yeah. in there where it's steep. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it wasn't what I thought, but the dumpling, what it was wrapped in was very nice. Yeah. Um, my favorite part of the meal was the sushi. I think the sushi was absolutely delicious. And they're hand rolling it too. There's like a section in the middle of the restaurant. So it's fresh. Yeah. And I I really enjoy the sushi. I enjoyed my cocktail. Yeah. And um, the, the chicken and then would be yeah. the skewers, then this. Would you what would you rate the gyoza out of? Is that a five? five? Six point five out of ten. I wasn't a big delicious. I say try it. It's not bad. Because the just flavor not profile is nice. It almost has like this lemongrass, yeah. white pepper type of flavor. But it was ground wagyu. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yes sure. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, so perfect. Much. All right, let's make a wish at the same time. I yes, think I know what it. we're gonna wish for. I already know. <laughs> Me too. You ready? Yay! Happy one week and <laughs> one, two, three, four days of marriage. Yeah, it's not our anniversary, it's, but we got married. But y'all know that. But that's their special it song. Matter. Yeah, I, that was beautiful. <laughs> What'd you get, honey? So, on my way to the bathroom, well, coming back from the bathroom, they had a host stand. Because you have to, like, walk past quite a distance of the restaurant. But anyways, they had a host stand, which I guess was the host stand for the hibachi section mm -hmm. of the restaurant. And they had a whole line of different types of origami. And I got a little blue crane. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> the crane just wanted to fly away. <laughs> All right. But very cute. Well, real quick, because we need to get out of here before the fireworks begin. Yes. Um, how was your review of, um, how do you say it? Shiki Sai. Shiki Sai. Shiki Sai. Yeah. It's a Japanese isekai. Isekai <laughs> style. Small plates, share plates. I'd give it, out of 10, I'd give it like a 7. Point five, I think seven, I'd do the same. I'll do 10. the same. Yep. We got very lucky with our seating. Maybe if we didn't get that seating, maybe that would that would probably go down yeah. slightly. Not that the food was bad, but I mean the food was good. I'm not gonna say the food was bad at all. Surprisingly, all the sushi was my favorite. Yeah, part. mine too. It was the best if, part. If of I me. were to go back, I would get more sushi. Yeah, more sushi. I like to try some of the other things. I was just I was a little disappointed with the gyoza. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 7.5. Like, I highly recommend. Come here. Mm -hmm. The staff's very w wonderful. Oh and my very gosh, nice. very sweet. And um, yeah, I, I would definitely come back. It, it wasn't the best meal I've ever had, but we tend to be hard to please. But um, and it wasn't that bad. I think it was what 144. Yeah. No, it was like it was like one. Oh yeah, it was like 148. Yeah. For the both of and us. And we got how many plates? Five different things. 
So we got two types of sushi. We got the karage chicken, which is fried chicken thighs, and then we got the chick, the like skewer platter, and then we got the gyoza. Okay, so five different. She things. got a cocktail and I got a beer. Yep. And then they gave us free ice cream. Yep. Because it's our uh, honeymoon. It's yep. an anniversary, but that's fine. Yeah. But the view itself, though, is, I mean, honestly, the eight out of ten. Yeah. So anyway, um, we'll probably wrap it here yeah. because I'll tell you right now, my feet are barking. I'm pretty tired. Tired. It's uh, like I said, around 8.30, so we're going to head out of here before the fireworks. And then tomorrow we do have a rest day. We have a haunted dinner. And Looking forward to that. We're probably going to Florida's or America's biggest McDonald's um, in Orlando for lunch. Just gonna because be cool. we're going to be nosy. We want to check it out. So yeah. I think that's the plan for tomorrow. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow.